so what exactly happened today in the uh, KKR versus uh, Punjab Kings uh, match in Eden Gardens what happened this was bound to happen you know there's uh, this is not something uh, which is uh, a little bit a bolt out of the book the writing was on the wall if you actually make these kinds of pitches this is the this is inevitable these things will happen that pitch is not a batsman's paradise eden gardens right now is not a batsman's paradise it is a batsman's seventh heaven batsman's nirvana something little more than everything you know it is it is literally the garden of eden for batsmen now and it has nothing to offer for bowlers nothing nothing at all so when you make a pitch like this you are going to get thrashed left right and center hmm. Hmm. so no use blaming anyone and no use applauding any batsman out honestly speak you go ahead and applaud a batsman when he's making runs in a difficult pitch where everybody else is failing but if you make a pitch where everyone is hitting the ball everybody is thrashing the ball and still and winning it's okay yeah. this, this pitch has nothing this pitch is you know this is like some we we watch box cricket the cricket which is played with celebrities where you are hitting sixes and fours and everything after a while you know if you make pitches like this even hitting fours and sixes become very very boring a true game of cricket is only played when there is an equal contest between the bowler and the batsman and if you don't have that it is ridiculous now many people are saying you know they made 267 are yaar 267 on this pitch is rubbish when you got such an incredible start by salt and narayan the problem happened because shreya shayer came in venkatesh shayer came in they are not power hitters they should have sent rinku singh in earlier but i cannot fault them and i'll tell you why you see now all the cricketers they don't care about ipl anymore now ipl is nearing the end right now what they care about is that man i have to make it to the indian team for the t20 world cup and they have realized that that opportunity is slipping away now in that context what they will try and do is they will try and go ahead and promote themselves up the order in order to show some innings or some fast innings which is going to go ahead and convince the bcci to pick them in the 15 member squad everybody wants to take a crack on that now in case of shreya shayer that is exactly what he is doing you cannot fault him he he says yeah even if kkr wins the ipl and even if i am the captain at the end of the day if i don't go to west indies and usa and i don't play in the t20 world cup then frankly speaking it's useless that's why he promoted himself up the order and poor rinku singh who has nep who's not done anything wrong till now but unfortunately now he is not even being considered for the t20 team why because he just comes so much down the order he has never been able to show his heroics for kkr we have got venkatesh ayer coming in 
we've got Shreya Shahar coming in and their strike rate was nothing. This was a, you know, the only way. KKR could have won this match was if they had tried to go ahead and score 300 plus. And, I, and you all might be thinking, what are you talking about? 300 plus. No. Look at the start. Look at the start with Salt and uh, uh, Nara and Gabe. And Punjab Kings finished this match in the 18th or the 19th over, correct? The problem happened because Venkatesh Iyer and Shreya Iyer could not accelerate the innings in the fag end of the 20 overs and that was our undoing. And by the time Rinku came in, he didn't have any much balls, so he had to go ahead and start hitting from the word go and he got dismissed, he got out. So we lost because of our stupidity, nothing else. You see, Rinku is a power hitter. Even he can thrash the slower baller. See, look at Besto, what he did. He smashed Chakrabarti. He smashed the spinners also. For that, you need raw power. Shreya Shayar and Venkate Shayar are not power hitters. So, that was the area where they slowed down. And they just could manage 267 runs. Whereas, they at least needed 287 to 290 on a pitch like this. Because... This pitch is just rubbish. Honestly speaking, it is rubbish. I just hope the curator goes ahead and prepares a challenging pitch for the next match because, you know, these kinds of pitches, what they do is they are destroying the very concept of cricket for 20 overs. For 20 overs, you have a match. It doesn't mean that you just come to the pitch and you just see slam bang uh, four sixes no it is only when there is an equal fight that's the time you enjoy the match here it's not happening you are making these kinds of halwa pitches and you are expecting teams to win any team will win you know any team on a pitch like this will win batting second. It has eased out. Still the earlier pitches, I don't know, in Eden, they were still trying to do something. But here, there was no assistance for the bowlers. And all the batsmen made merry. Each and every batsman. Now, there were some batsmen who could not go ahead and capitalize more than the others. The two prime examples being Venkatesh Iyer and Shreya Shahir. Now, if they had gone ahead and tried to make a little more hay while the sun shined, then we would have won the match. But they played as if, you know, it is, uh, it is more of a one-day match instead of a T20 match. They needed to smash, they needed to smash each and every ball for fours and sixes, which they couldn't. No offense, they are not power hitters. Where Rinku could have helped. And then, of course, you might go ahead and say a lot of bad things to the bowlers that they were not good enough and all that. Listen, we don't... Uh, KKR does not have a great uh, bowling attack. You know? And uh, you have to realize one thing. You might go ahead and cuss uh, Michel Stark a lot. But... You need to also understand that he's bowling on these kinds of rubbish pitches. And the last match, even though you made Mitchell Stark sit out, the last match, after being hit for consecutive sixes, he had the presence of mind to hold on to that catch and turn the match. That is the metal of Mitchell Stark, which nobody realizes. You have to understand one thing. He might be a very useless bowler right now in front of you. But he's one of the best international bowlers in the world. Okay? And when you're bowling in these kinds of pitches, nothing works. 
you you might bowl at 147 150 160 170 still these pitches are so horrible and they are so batsman friendly that even you and i can actually go into the pitch and hit mitchell stark for one or two runs you know i personally i i have no i i don't want to say talk much about what this match was all about this is not cricket honestly speaking when i watch a match like this the one which i watched right now kkr and punjab kings this is not cricket this is a uh, uh, sharad you know this is a farce in order to play a game of cricket you need to go ahead and prepare a pitch which will be interesting and which will pose a challenge for the opposition and for the uh, home team also both now if you are going to make a pitch like this wherein the ball is coming even if you bowl at the fastest rate possible at waist high and you can easily dislodge it for four or sixes or anything that's not a pitch and it's so boring it is so boring to just watch sixes and fours just raining in it is so boring you need to make a pitch which is interesting which which will make a batsman think which will also give some assistance or support to the bowlers if you don't prepare these kinds of pitches then we are actually pitch- picking the wrong people for the t20 world cup think about it right now the most important part of the ipl is we are trying we are going to pick the indian team based on the recent performance in ipl and in ipl what we are simply getting are pitches which are aiding batsmen and nothing else now you pick these players who have not actually played in the international arena and you send them for the t20 world cup you send them to west indies you send them to usa honestly speaking we don't know how the pitches are going to be there right in west indies usually the pitches are fast and bouncy now there these batsmen who have scored a ton of runs in ipl they will be facing alien conditions in international uh, 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 in a kind of an international arena and they will have to go ahead and cope with that from the very word go and that too on the world cup arena the world cup stage do you think they can pull it off i have my doubts and what has happened is because of all these ridiculous team strategies and everything some of the players who have actually proven themselves and some of the players who have actually played in the international arena and they've done a good job those players right now are not in the contention now we are going to go ahead and take some players who have not proven their metal in the international arena and they have proved their metal in the ipl stage on batsman friendly pitches and nothing else and we are going to think or believe that these people will actually go to west indies or usa and get the world cup for india if it happens it's great i'm going to start singing rudhimix sweet dreams but the ask is very tall and for something like this to happen we really need to you know as i told you we need to dream on the classic example was the match today this was ridiculous this is not cricket the curator of eden gardens should be pulled up and they sh- should be talked and he should be told that you cannot make pitches like this this is just ridiculous these kinds of pitches will not work make pitches which have an equal kind of a sway for both the teams 
and that is what is going to make the things interesting nothing else that is my analysis for today's match i was uh, very disappointed not with the teams and everybody of course i was disappointed with shreya shaya's captaincy but you know he has to be a little selfish right he has to be in the indian team for that he promoted himself up the order and he said that let me try and play a quick fire uh, 50 40 60 or whatever so that i can catch the attention of the selectors so it's not his fault you know he he is the captain of the team he will utilize it that's why he did not send in ricky singh uh, earlier that's not his fault everybody has their own self interest and i have no issues or problems with that but what happened as a result is uh, kkr lost if with the fall of uh, uh, salt uh, i would say okay one down still venkatesh ayer comes in or better still even shreya ayer comes in don't bring in venkatesh ayer let shreya ayer come in after that wicket after uh, 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 like i would say after phil salt's wicket rinku had to come in you give him more overs then he's going to blossom rinku was the difference between 267 and 297 today and that could have posed some sort part of a challenge for the punjab kings which did not happen anyways listen i feel the kkr has already qualified for the playoffs i don't think uh, it's going to be much of a problem they just need to one, win a one, one or two matches and they'll be done they'll be there for the playoffs and i'm very happy that uh, preeti zinta is very happy today because i just she's uh, she's my darling i love her so i i am very happy that her her team has won we are very gracious hosts we had a we it was a run fest and uh, she is happy uh, i wish she was there in eden gardens that bad luck zinta was not there we miss you we are you are great and it's good to see but jab ke win this odd match and bring a smile on your face so that's it and uh, that's all i have to say about today's match as i told you i don't think i watched a cricket match this was more of those uh, box cricket between celebrities where people just keep on hitting fours or sixes and people are doing throw ball you know literally the ball was coming to the batsman as if the bowler was not doing overhand bowling but he was doing throw ball it was that bad it was that bad this pitch these kinds of pitches they spell doom for cricket and uh, these kinds of uh, pitches uh, the curators and everybody should be asked very tough questions that you should not go ahead and prepare these kinds of pitches because these are ridiculous pitches which are which are destroying which are destroying cricket you know i would say destroying cricket because you're just having it too easy people pay money as if they are going there and watching not cricket but a bad Uh, like a copy of bare me a chote me something like that come on this is not cricket so i hope people realize this and they try and make some more challenging pitches because based on these matches the indian team is getting selected and it is going to be very very difficult if the wrong people are selected based on the dint of their performance in ipl and in ipl the pitches which are being prepared are completely batsman friendly which is not going to be so in the 2020 world cup right now i honestly speaking ipl i would say is just the means to make money you know nowadays it's nothing else people watch it get entertained and then they play all these dream 11 this and that they just want to make money nothing else it's it's just that but the main the main thing which we need to concentrate upon is the t20 world cup and it's high time india won another world cup and when we have such a such an excellent team with us it is important that we pick the right people and we go ahead and win the world cup this time around it is boring to watch australia keeping on winning it and i am telling you mark my words even though pakistan is not doing well against new zealand 
but still the steps which they are taking in order to prepare for the world cup is bang on is spot on and we need to be very careful of them because they are a very dangerous side and t20 world cup t20 matches we've had our odd matches wherein we have been really beaten very badly by them honestly speaking this is going to be very very difficult if we don't pick the right side and they don't go ahead and play well okay so that is again my take and um, i hope you liked it take care bye bye